Welcome back to Living in Wait. You know, a lot is happening in the local real estate market. And here to keep us up to date and answer some of your questions even, we bring back our good friend Hal Wilkerson, owner of Hawaii Property Advisors. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks, John. It's great to be back, sir. Yeah, last time you were here was my birthday. I know. I remember that day well. But I'm hoping that you have good enough news that everyone else that are that is watching thinks it's their birthday. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's start off. How are buyers responding uh, to the changes in the market? Because there have been a lot. You know, that is a great point. The, the, the market has changed significantly. So last month, you remember, I was letting you know, we're starting to see a little bit of a balancing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been for the longest time during the pandemic, we've seen a seller-centric market. Now we're starting to see a little bit of more of a balance. And, uh, you know, I thought it would be, be good for us to start uh, with our slide today, because this really tells a, a pretty good picture. Um, um, first of all, our average price for single-family homes is starting to come down. We're seeing a little bit of a retracement. Okay. So that's a good thing for buyers. Thank you, by the way, for the nice arrows. You, that actually helps me. I love it. You okay. bet. My pleasure. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay. Also, uh, the condos now, we're still seeing them do a little bit of rising. And one of the things that, okay. that we see in the Oahu market specifically is... Um, single family homes lead condos follow and so that's generally the way we see so it wouldn't surprise me if we start to see uh, the numbers following in the condos days on market have gone up again an indication that there's more inventory and there's less buyers so that's a, also a good thing for buyers because they're going to have more choices okay, okay? so 17 days single family 15 days uh, for uh, condos and then we actually haven't seen any change in the month supply of inventory we're still looking at 1.7 on single families 1.8 basically if there were no more properties to come on the market we would be out of inventory in about a month and a half. And okay. so that's the, the kind of the current snapshot. I appreciate this information. This is really helpful. How, are, how yeah. are sellers responding to this? Yeah. So one of the challenges that we're seeing now, because we're having, uh, there's two big, two big factors. Number one, obviously the, the high prices, but we've got interest rates, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, and there's more, there's more inventory. And so sellers are having these challenges because they're not able to move their, their house as quickly as they would like to, okay? okay? The buyers are less you know there's less availability for them because their interest rates are going up which means their buying power is reduced okay we're looking at seven percent is our current interest rate right now oh which my gosh, you know compared high. to where we were two and a half you know six months ago yeah. it's like blowing people's mind and so what we're, there's a new program that a lot of lenders are doing now that I think is very valuable uh, for for buyers and it's and sellers for that matter it's called the 2-1 rate buy down program okay, okay tell me about that so what it is, is as these sellers are finding that their home is sitting on the market, there's a lot of equity. So a lot of people that are selling at these market prices, they've got a lot of equity in their homes. And so they're starting to do incentives such as uh, seller credits for rate buy-downs. Mm -hmm. And basically what that means, let's just take an uh, eight, $850,000 house in Eva Beach, for example. Okay, we'll just use that as an example, okay? okay? A seller may have you know $200,000 in equity on that property, but they really want to sell it and they need to sell it. Um, what we're starting to see is that they're offering like $20,000 in, in seller credit and the 2-1 rate buy-down program, that's a very beneficial program. They're, they're obviously losing a little bit of their equity on it mm -hmm. to do that, but the buyer is now benefiting because what they're doing is they're taking that $20,000, putting it in into a lender's escrow account, and then they're basically, the first year, they're doing what would if essentially be a 2% rate reduction. So instead of that 7%, okay. they're effectively paying a 5% interest ah. for the first year. The second year, it goes up one point to 6%, so that's the one. So you got two for the first year, one for the second year, and then the third year, it goes to the to the normal you know where it was the idea being rates are always changing there's a very good chance that this economic cycle is going to adjust mm. back so by then you'll be able to refinance your house out so that's just one of the creative things that we're doing to help buyers and sellers on both sides of the table get the transaction done I like that yeah I like that that's great information by the way yeah you bet. so you're welcome <laughs> You're all welcome. <laughs> Hawaii Property Advisors, we, are, we solve all the problems. We do everything we can for both uh, sellers and buyers. Last time you were here, you had five things for our viewers, but I understand there is a new guide. Yes, yeah, so this month we've got a new seller's guide. It's eight things home sellers wish they would have asked their real estate agent before they hired them. We put that together in a guide, and you can download it at hpahomes slash agent so you know you can ask those questions before you hire your real estate agent. While you're here, I'm going to use you.
Uh, thank you. For our viewers, of course. Of course. We're always working for Hawaii. Yes, sir. Uh, I want our viewers, we always ask a question. Sure. And, um, and, and we get our viewers' answers. How about, uh, since it's Wednesday, we have everybody out there ask you some real estate questions. If they have a question for you, do you mind sticking around and answering them? I would be more than happy to do that. That would be great. So go to our Facebook page, submit your questions for Hal. He'll come up uh, with the answers and we'll have it for you a little bit later on in the show. Is that a deal? That's a deal. For we'll now, we'll go to break. We'll have much more. Let me get to it when we continue.